Hello everyone, good morning. This is Whitney Freya and welcome to video number three in the early morning under the apple tree aha video series. Okay, so I just had a big one drinking my coffee and reading the book The Secret History of Consciousness by Dr. Meg Losey. I highly recommend it. So here's my intention with these videos is to illuminate a path out of the shadow that honors the shadow, that loves the shadow, and brings you into the light, gets you happy and excited and inspired about the art that is your life, right? So today I read that thoughts, when we try and think, right, and, you know, figure it out, wah, okay, the boot that's holding up my phone just tipped over. Okay. I'm sure that's symbolic, right? Um, okay. So when we think our mind, um, is, uh, electrical in nature. Okay. So just think about electricity. Think about generators worrying to produce energy, right? Um, think about, uh, elements, you know, igniting, you know, there's a clash, right? Then, as opposed to thinking, which is electrical in nature, consciousness is electromagnetic in nature. So I didn't go Google or Wikipedia, the science behind this, but just think about the difference between electricity and magnetism, right? Consciousness is magnetic. So it's not about generating and working to produce the power like our logical mind does. It's about becoming a magnet to attract exactly what it is you need. So the shadow, just think of your day coming up. The shadow may be like the, you know, the plugging along, the feeling like you're going against the grain, these things that you keep trying to figure out, you know, should I do this or should I do that? Or should I call them or not? You know, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to make the money for this? Should I buy a house or should I buy land? I was just um, writing and doing things around that question that I have. Instead, if we access our consciousness, we can just attract like a magnet the right answers. We can allow the coincidences and synchronicities and what feels right to guide us rather than our thoughts. It doesn't mean that thinking is not something we should do. It means get really intentional and aware around the magic that you are and how you can create more of what you want. And if there's something in the future unknown, a change you want to make, a dream that you want to realize, right? Like for example, my dream is to build and create an art shram, part art studio, part ashram here where I live in Wallowa County. Right now I rent a house. So what is going to be the process between renting the house and buying the land or a house, right? So this is something I can think about or and I've said this to people before, I'm like, I just have a feeling that it's going to magically make itself known to me, right? So that's the difference. Do I worry about what is going to happen in the future? Or do I hold on to the vision of the art shram, you all coming to visit me there, and trust that I will attract to me exactly what I need? Which is gonna make me happier today? Which perspective? Clearly, um, the magnetizing the art tram to me rather than work, work, working and trying to figure it out. Okay? So one way today that you can embrace the shadow, understand that the worry about how you're going to dot, 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 get the art tram is illuminating for you that you really, really, really want this. Then to bring it into the light, choose to imagine Envision into that future reality and trust that you will magnetize to yourself exactly what you need. And then when it arrives, 
seize the day, right? Okay, so that's my aha for today. I want you all to be even happier. I want you to look at the fullness of this life, the shadow as well as the light, and find the wisdom and the opportunity and the joys that lie within both. The struggles, the things that are hard for us, are there to teach and guide us. Doesn't mean they're gonna feel good right away, but it does mean that we can wrap them in this understanding that they are gifts just as much as the good times, okay? So I encourage you to live life as the canvas of your soul, to understand that you are magical and that there is mystery just in the darkness waiting to reveal itself to you. Don't avoid the shadow thinking that it's bad or wrong. Go in there and see what treasure is hiding there. What part of you is wanting to be brought back in and loved? I look forward to continuing this conversation. And I thank you for being a rainbow warrior, someone who is passionate about living your life to the fullest and creating the change that we want to see in this world. Aho. Have an amazing day.